Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be discussing the benefits of moist wound healing. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. So moist wound healing is the practice of keeping a wound in an optimal moist environment. So I always like to say we want it just like our eyeball. That's how moist we want the surface of a wound to be. This promotes faster healing. Now, research um, has shown that moist wound healing heals three to five times faster then wounds that are allowed to dry out. Because I know this is a huge misconception with a lot of people allowing or saying, oh, well, I need to let my wound dry out. But actually, British researcher George D. Winter described the benefits of moist wound healing in the 1960s. Okay, his research demonstrated that a moist wound environment was optimal for wound healing. Then in the 1970s and 80s, moist wound healing then became the standard practice. During the 80s and 90s, um, the field of moist wound dressings were thoroughly um, researched. And so, so many new dressings um, and products such as hydrogels, foams, alginates, they were created to keep a moist wound healing environment. So not just as a protective measure, they are now wound dressings are an active part of wound healing. So what are the benefits of moist wound healing? So as we heard in previous slides, it heals a wound three to five times quicker, but there's, there's so many benefits. So I have um, included some of the um, most beneficial um, for wo uh, moist wound healing here. So for one, it takes less time to heal. Um, keratinocytes, so there's cells um, that have to get across a, the wound to actually heal it. So what happens is these cells, if it's not a moist wound environment, it can't get across the top of the wound. Um, so what they have to do is burrow to where there's a moist uh, environment and that's when they can actually move forward. So when we have a moist wound bed, these cells can get across the top of the wound bed um, to actually heal it. Um, autolytic debridement is facilitated. Um, decrease in incidences of wound infection, preserves growth factors in uh, wound fluid, um, stimu stimulates collagen synthesis, reduces pain, and also reduces scarring. So as you see, there's so many benefits to wound healing. Um, and, you know, when we can get a wound to heal quickly and not get stuck in an inflammatory phase, get into that chronic wound phase, that is what we are trying to do um, because once we get into a chronic wound phase, it's super, super hard to heal wounds. So if we can get a wound healed as quickly as possible, that's always our goal. So as you can see, moist wound healing is so super important um, for the outcome of the wound. The quickest healing process is always the best choice. So moist wound healing, that's what we always, always want to use. Um, today's wound care dressings have moisture management properties to fulfill um, all the functions of passive dressings of earlier times, but they also promote faster healing, okay? They reduce pain, they encourage vapor transmission, they promote autolytic debridement, um, and they also protect the wound as a barrier. Um, so we always want to have a moist wound environment and have that wound protected. This will be optimal for wound healing and getting them to uh, heal as quickly as possible. 
So I hope this video gave you a better understanding of why we use a moist wound healing environment and why you should use it for your daily practice. Um, or if you are trying to heal a wound on your own, that is why we use moist wound healing um, instead of letting a wound air out or dry out. Okay. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye for now.